You got the book of Job. Some have said the book of John. That's to let everybody know that he God says we got a book called John. <laughs> but the book of Job, like every man and every woman, especially every man ought to have a job. Some slower thing coming. Amen. If you ain't working, you ought to be retired and working still bring some sort of thing. Um, amen. But anyway, let's move on. Let's not get the memory. Uh, there was a man, Job chapter 1. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright. One that feared God and eschewed evil. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep, three thousand camels, five hundred yoke of oxen, five hundred she asses, and a very great household. So that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. And his sons went and feast in their house every one his day, and sent a call for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan asked the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? a perfect and upright man, one that fears God and assures evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God or not? Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and the substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Only upon himself put not thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord, going to the second chapter and the first verse. And there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro to the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect man, an upright man, and one that fear of God and is true of evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answers, and said, skin for skin, yea, and all that a man has will he give for his life. But put forth thy hand now, and touch 
touch his bones and flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto the Savior, Behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. I want to talk to you a little bit of, about double, double, double for nothing. Double. Have you ever been in a game when you say double? When you put it all in, there's a shot. You say double, double for nothing. Uh, have you ever been there? Maybe down to your last, and this person that has beaten you, you may be seated. Uh, I used to, this person had a person that has beaten you, and they say, come on. And you have the confidence to rise up and say, well, I tell you what, double nothing. If you think what you got is so good, I'm going to put everything I got up, and I'm going to either win or I'm going to lose it all. But I'm not holding back anything. I used to play poker, and I know y'all like that I was saved all my life, but I was a pretty good poker player. And I had an excellent poker face as a young man, and I knew how.
sin. That was in his habit. He stayed away from stuff that he knew that would entangle him. He wasn't perfect in the sense that he did everything right, but he was perfect in the sense that he wanted to. He wanted to please God. And so with the things that he knew was wrong, he tried to stay away from. And he had 10 children, seven sons and three girls, and they wouldn't purge. And they didn't try to shoot him. They parted, hearted, they had, you know what, you know what, a lot of times you get, I used to get excited when I would hear about people coming off the street getting saved, because I came off the street getting saved from drugs and gambling and, 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 and running and, you know, all the things that we do in the streets. And I thought that was a great miracle. I, I knew I was a great miracle, and so I was impressed when I would hear people getting delivered from homosexuality and all types of things and coming in. Uh-huh. And so, uh, 
He wants you to believe that he don't exist and he don't have no power. That he don't have all power, but he does have power. And he will do some damage. Mm -hmm. And so the Bible says he watches people. He watches the righteous. Mm -hmm. See, I want you to see the, the Bible says the Old Testament is why it's not
hand around him and you done blessed him and you done saved him and you done gave him everything that died of his heart, you done blessed his family, you done blessed him, you done gave him everything he wanted. That's the reason why he served you. Mm -hmm. He said, that's the reason why he worshiped you. I worship you too. You get to eat all that for me. Uh, but you get me out of heaven. He said, but the way you bless Job and favor Job and smile on Job, that's the reason why he worshiped you. He really don't love you. Oh, this is what he was saying to God. He said, Job, see, and God just let him talk. That's right. That's right. Mm, have you, have you
say sweet for dinner. See, maybe now you can just get a little glimpse of what may be, may be happening now, been happening to your life. Because there, there, you have to understand this, there, 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 there is a season that hits you and takes from you. And maybe you didn't understand, but there is a devil out there that wants to take and destroy. And so, you got to have something greater on the inside that's working than what was given to you. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you don't clean for money. Amen. Uh-huh, because money can be taken just like that. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I remember Sister Cynthia was talking to me and, and different ones were talking to me and I remember Enron's situation, that company, and everybody thought they had so much money and stocks and stuff like that and retirement and all that. And they, they looking forward to their retirement and come. Baby, that's on paper. That ain't yours. <laughs> you know why? The Google ain't yours because when that company, them companies went under and GM and GM and all that problem, they went under nothing. They said, the most they found some of them, I'll let you keep the job. So everything else, what you thought you had, it's gone. That's right. That's it. It's gone. That's right. So you thought you had. If your bank decides to shut the door on you right now and tell you your ATM card, your debit card, your credit card, they ain't working. That's right. You ain't got for what's in your mind. That's, 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 that's true. But what you got saved at home. That's right. That's it. That's it. 